Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about this article that was just released in regards to a post that Supergirl made recently on their social media. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this article is going from CBR.com, and the title reads... Supergirl poster teases more rain in season 6. And then the subheading says, The CW teased that Supergirl's season 3 rival, Rain, played by Adair Annabelle, may return for the show's sixth and final season in 2021. So yeah, today we're going to be breaking this article down and going over how likely it is that Rain is going to return and, you know, just analysing this article and what they say about that post that was made recently, which I'm sure a lot of you looked over, so... Hopefully I can give you some sort of insight into what potentially may be happening with some returning characters this season. Most specifically in this video, Rain, we've talked about mon recently. You guys can just backtrack on my channel like a week or so if you want to catch that video. And, you know, we've done a couple of other videos regarding like what potentially might happen. Will we see any returning characters in this upcoming season? And so it's very likely that we will see a return of at least a few characters due to them obviously being in the final season. However, maybe a tiny bit less than what would normally happen for a series finale, considering the virus is still going rampant, you know, all around the world and everything, and it's very hard for Americans to go over to Canada. There was probably gonna be some more restrictions soon, considering, I believe, in LA, they identified another strain of the virus, like in the UK, where I am. And so it seems like maybe there's going to be even more restrictions coming soon. So I think all productions are really relying on the vaccines actually hitting. So the faster the vaccines are spread out widely, the faster and better productions will be able to actually return properly and get normal guest stars in from all over. So Rain, let's go ahead and break down this article to do with Rain. The CW has teased that Supergirl season 3 rival may return when the show returns for its sixth and final season. Rumours began to circulate about Rain's return after the official Supergirl Twitter account shared an image on Christmas Day that featured Samantha Arias slash Rain played by Adat Annabelle and Lena Luthor from season 3. The shot was captioned, hopefully the forecast is more snow than rain this year, happy holidays. And so yeah, that was from the official Supergirl Twitter. I saw this on Christmas Day, I didn't think much of it, I'm presuming some of you guys saw it as well. I don't think there was that much rumours going around to do with this because it's literally what the Supergirl team, you know, the social media team will be doing is every time there is like a big day, like Christmas, they'll go back through their catalogue of photos and they will just release the photo to wish everyone like a happy holiday or whatever it is, like whether it's Valentine's Day, Christmas Day or Thanksgiving in America. So they always try and put out some sort of post online. And so, the article continues and says, Introduced in Season 2 of Supergirl, Rain was a weapon of mass destruction, blah blah blah, we know all of this, and we know that by the end of Season 3, Samantha went away, Rain was destroyed, and, you know, Samantha is still out there somewhere, you know, I think she is in Metropolis right now, and she moved with Ruby, who was heavily featured in that season as well. And so the post about Rain came just days after a concept artist shared some of his unused work for season 3 of Supergirl which depicted the ceremonial wear of the High Council in Argo City. And basically all I just said there and you know what comes next in this article is just filler stuff to fill up the article because that's what they have to do, they have to reach a certain word count and obviously the story didn't have much because they don't speculate much apart from the fact that you know in this post Supergirl's Twitter posted a picture of Samantha and it's like, oh, they're teasing her return. Well, guys, I'm going to break it to you here right now. This post does not mean that Samantha is coming back. I'll talk about the likelihood of Samantha returning in a minute, but for now, this article is pure speculation. Take it with a huge grain of salt because they don't know anything and it's just their own speculation, which is fine. But I feel like you should back it up if you have some speculation. They're literally just saying, like, you know, the Twitter page posted a photo. That means that maybe Rain is going to be coming back. But in reality, that's just, like, them going back, finding a Christmassy slash holiday season kind of photo. 
and then just releasing it online like wishing you a Merry Christmas and they just use like a rain pun so yeah I don't think the poster teases anything it doesn't tease more rain but it does bring up the idea will rain return because she did return last season in the hundredth episode so it's likely that she could return for the season finale probably that is the most likely episode as that will be the episode where they officially wrap up the show and it's going to be the final episode ever and potentially the last appearance of Supergirl so you know if this all goes ahead and everything kind of gets better by the season finale because they're going to be filming until August so if like I said earlier the vaccines you know work out and there is definitely a way for them to bring more cast members back we definitely have the possibility of people like Odette Annabelle returning I think it's a little bit more likely that people like Chris Wood definitely is going to return I've talked about that in some recent videos and that is because he's going to be in Vancouver, he is in Melissa's household, so, you know, he's going to be exposed to whatever's happening on the set anyway. And I think they would probably make priority for someone like Wynn returning over Rain, and that's only because he's been such a prominent character for so long, and obviously he left, and he actually came back last season for three episodes, however, he's been such an integral character since the start, Unlike Rain, who is definitely one of the biggest characters on the show, but not comparing to someone like Wynn. So I think they would kind of take priority in trying to get Jeremy back for the finale or the last few episodes or something like that. You know, there's definitely a chance that when actors are returning, especially this season with the restrictions, they're going to be filming probably for more than one episode if they're coming over from America and they have to quarantine for two weeks and everything. So it seems likely that maybe a couple of the cast members will return and they'll probably stick around a bit longer than they would usually maybe. But let me know in the comments down below who do you think is going to return. I think it's definitely likely we'll see some returning familiar faces. And just my final closing thoughts on Rain potentially coming back. I definitely think they could fit her into the finale like I mentioned before. But how could she fit in? I would say the story is going to be some sort of reflective story in some way. You know, it doesn't have to be doing flashbacks or, you know, time traveling or something like that. Potentially, you may get just some returning faces pop up just as a way to say goodbye. So I would say it's more likely to see Samantha than to see Rain because Samantha is good, Rain is gone, and Samantha is alive and she is in Metropolis, which is not very far away. So if people are theorizing that Barry is going to be in the Supergirl series finale and like, you know, Superman's going to show up and potentially win returning, I don't see why not if they are at the point where they're able to, why they wouldn't bring back Samantha to say one last goodbye because she was definitely one of, or if not the most beloved villain slash, you know, one of the best characters on the show, even if Samantha you know, has been away for a while and obviously Rain is the big cooling point because she was the villain, but Samantha was nearly as interesting as well. So I would say there is definitely a possibility for that to happen. So yeah, I mean, this pretty much just goes without saying, but you know, in terms of sites online, don't take every headline as concrete and you need to look into it because when you look into it, you find, oh, it's just based on a tweet and it's like, oh, Samantha is there. Rain is there, aka maybe Rain is going to return in this next season, whereas the fact of the situation here is, it's nothing big and it's just, you know, a random article that was posted because they were, you know, looking for something to post. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and remember to go check out the recent videos if you missed out on them, there is lots to do with The Flash, Supergirl, we did a trailer breakdown yesterday with Paigey live on the live stream, you can check that out, that is on the channel right now, you can skip, it's about halfway through the live stream when Paigey hops in and we break down the biggest parts of the Superman and Lois first season trailer, so yeah. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.